What's up, everyone? This is Cybernat8610, and today the latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zell uh, happened, and so we have a few cards to talk about. Uh, the first one we're talk about in this video, though, is going to be the New Order. Supposedly, I guess, you know, there's only been two of them revealed. There's four and six. We're talking about four today, six. I guess we'll talk about next week because we don't have the effect or anything yet. And it kind of looks like a snake or something. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of wondering, because they have like the same overlay network as Number Monsters. Is this like a new form of Number Monsters? Like, are we going to see actually a few of these? Like, you know, maybe hopefully not one through 100 because, man, that'd be a pain to also collect those. But I'm kind of wondering, you know, if there's a pretty good amount of numbers for these as well. Uh, but yeah, only four and six so far. And supposedly there's a lot of like, they're going to be used for a lot of different rank up uh, XC summons. So I can't wait to hear about that too. I'm hoping we're going to have a lot of rank up monsters to talk about next week uh, from the anime. But anyway, today we're going to talk about New Orders for Etheric Anubis. I believe I pronounced that right. It is a rank 4 monster light uh, beast and it has 1000 attack and 1000 defense. It requires two level 4 monsters to XC summon into it. Here's its effect. When a spell or trap cards in your possession is destroyed, you can attach one XC material from this card, set one of those cards in your spell or trap card zone. If that card was a trap card, it can be activated the same turn it was set. So yeah, it's basically that whenever your opponent destroys one of your spell or trap cards that are in your possession on your side of the field, uh, then you get to reset one of them, which is actually a pretty cool effect. It'd be kind of annoying too, especially when if your opponent's using like MST or something, you know, a mystical space typhoon to try to blindly destroy some of your cards. That's just kind of a funny way of just uh, resetting the card, especially some of those annoying ones like safe zone. You can just attach, detach an XC material for that. So yeah, what do you guys think about this card? Of course, since this is the anime effect, you know, if this card actually does get printed, the effect might change up a little bit. I kind of hope, you know, maybe the attack would be a little bit better. I mean, a thousand attack, a thousand defense or rank four, not the best of the world, but that artwork though, artwork's freaking awesome. I I'm hoping that these do get printed just for that reason alone. You guys know how I like uh, different artwork on, on some of these cards too. So yeah, this is pretty awesome looking. And uh, yeah, I think this card could be fairly usable, maybe a little bit better. I don't see it really get nerfed of course if it was actually printed I actually see it probably improving uh, because it's not the best yet I, I see some I see that this could actually work out and be usable so yeah tell me what you guys think about this card thank you for watching and also tell me do you think these new orders there might actually be a lot of these or I really doubt they would do a hundred again because holy crap you know we're gonna have like these and numbers uh, maybe only like 10 or something would be my best guess I don't know I kind of hope they at least make Ten or something, kind of make a theme of it because it'd be pretty neat to see these. And uh, I hope the rank up cards will be revealed uh, next week. I think they'll be really awesome to talk about as well. So yep, tell me what you guys think about this. Thank you for watching, and let's hope too that Yuma will finally use the new Utopia card soon because I'm dying to talk about that. I want the card to be revealed. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. See ya.